Hello, my peepers. Welcome to a new episode of A Color and Chat. And today is Whip Wednesday. This is what I want to start doing for this year's every Wednesday. Pull something out that is a whip. And we'll work on it. I don't know if we'll ever finish the same whip on camera. I know there is one that everybody asked me to, but... um. We're working out of Jewelry Box by Hannah Carlson, and this was a buddy color I started in October with Lisa when she was here, and I need to finish it. Um, today's tea is Stash Tea Holiday Chai, and the ingredients is... Oh, I cut some of it off. Cinnamon, allspice, clove, ginger root, natural gingerbread flavor, natural Jamaican rum flavor, nutmeg oil. And I can't read what the first ingredient is. Anyways, it's good. Drinking up all my teas. Because I have so much of it. So, this is what we're working on, and yes, I, you know, Libby had messaged me, can you please zoom in? I don't mind zooming in, my problem is I forget I'm zoomed in on like one flower, and I'll go to move on to the next and not move the book. So, if you really want me to zoom in, that's fine, but you're going to have to bear with me because I screw up all the time. And I don't remember what colors we used, but it must be these three. We are using the Luminance. And this is not a color alone, so I am not calling out the, not the colors. My color alones, I call out the colors. Yep, using my luminance. And I do like them in this book. So tell me, what is new in your neck of the woods? I don't have anything new today. We are getting ice. We're getting freezing rain. And my car right now looks like a sheet of ice. It's starting to melt a little bit. And this is supposed to last until tomorrow morning, I believe. Let me look. Let me look again. Yeah, see, it's 35 right now, so it's just above freezing. So the rain is not quite freezing at the moment. But this remains in effect until 1 a.m. Thursday. And right now it is 345 Wednesday. And it started this morning. The roads are slippery. The police are saying, please be careful. And then they just gave us a high wind watch. And that is in effect from Thursday evening through Friday afternoon.
So we're supposed to get winds 30 to 40 miles per hour with gusts up to 60. So that is what is going on here. I read a book this afternoon. It was a short novella, so I just did a review of that on here. Didn't do anything thrilling today. I got up at like 8.30, had breakfast, went through emails and reading things on Facebook, and I watched a few videos. <clears throat> and while I was watching videos, I was coloring in my buddy color with Barbara, Bra Barbara Barnes, which is in Villain Son by Tomislav Tomic, and it's almost done. I should be able to finish it. All I have left is the sky, and the sky is not done in large area. They're small areas. I'm thinking I'm going to use pencils for the sky. Let's go in with that second color. So, yeah, I was done early reading because it was a novella and it only took me an hour and a half to read it. So, I was done reading early today. I got my review up on Goodreads. It's not up on my blog yet because I'm it's for a blog tour and it's not due until the 15th and they did not send me my media pack yet on what to include in my blog tour. They don't send that till closer to the blog tour date. So today's only the 6th, you know. So, I have a while yet. Until they send me the media pack. Okay. I think I'll sharpen this. So last night I was chatting away with Dylan uh, and 
I was telling him about mukbang videos and he's like what he says people actually watch other people eat and I said yeah seems to be a thing you know so I was telling him about eating with Kim and he says but that's way too expensive I said her channel pays for the food if you look at her amount of views she has what she makes on her channel pays for her food He's like, oh, I said, we need to make a video of you cooking because Dylan loves to cook. And especially, I bought him um, cast iron, a cast iron eight-piece set for Christmas. So he's been using that a lot. He still uses his grill because he has it on his porch. But he's like, okay, so you can you can do the video of me cooking and then you eating it. And I said, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I would still love to do a video reading to the both my grandsons, but they won't. As soon as I turn on the camera, they start misbehaving. So I have to wait. I think Carson would sit still for me now. He's older. He just turned five. But Blake, no. He's not. He doesn't like me reading to him anyways. He takes the book away from me and tells me no. And My boys loved it when I read to them. So... I have a book here I need to read to them and do a review of the book it was given to me by the publisher so yep See, I'm constantly forgetting the camera's on and I get really, really quiet. Okay, let's move on to this flower. <laughs> I do, I forget. Okay, that's got the first layer. First, first the base is on. Now we need to go to the next color. So, what I do, last night I watched two episodes of General Hospital from last week, and I watched... Hold on a second. I have someone calling me. I'm just going to let them know I'm busy. Ok. 
okay. So, yeah, I watched Wednesday and Thursday's episode of General Hospital. And Thursday's Supernatural. And then I watched Christmas at Evergreen Letters to Santa from the Hallmark Channel that I had DVR'd. Then I went to bed. So tonight, when I am done here, while videos are uploading, so I have two reviews uploading, a flip through and this book, this video. While they are uploading, I will watch Fridays and probably Mondays, General Hospital and Riverdale's on tonight. So I'll watch that and then another movie. I think I have like seven Christmas movies left from this past Christmas. I know I have some from 2017 still on my DVR. But I'm getting there. Fridays is when I will watch Nick and Tina Colors and Faithfulness when they do their live streams. I know Nick and Tina do live streams Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but for now I'm just going to watch them on Friday. And Faithfulness does it at, on Wednesday nights and Friday nights. So for now, just Friday nights. The rest of the week, I really want to concentrate on my DVR. The one thing, though, is really cool about my new babysitting schedule. You will be... I won't feel so rushed on Sundays doing my live streams because when I babysat, I wasn't getting home till 4.30, 5 o'clock and then have to fix my dinner and go live at 6 so now I won't feel rushed because I don't babysit anymore on Sundays I know I did this little bit different than that flower but that's okay because no two flowers are exactly the same right so
kind of have to vacuum in here. I keep getting shavings on the floor. So yeah, the freezing rain started early this morning and the dog goes out and hurries up and does her business and comes back in. I think it hurts her ears. Like, sorry baby. Right now she's curled up in the spot on the couch where I was sitting when I was reading. So I don't know if she's keeping it warm for me or it's because it was warm for my sitting there. Which I would have to tend to say it's mostly because I was sitting there. I don't think she really cares if she's keeping it warm for me. Oh, and someone asked me, I believe it was Nikki, if I ever found the mouse that my cat's let go. Nope, I haven't seen it since. I have a cup sipping my tea. Nope, have not seen it. If it is smart, it will stay hidden. Although it did see what kind of mousers my cats are, so it probably isn't really scared anyways. It's kind of like a Tom and Jerry <laughs> situation. Kim gave me a, um, it's a glove that you put on your hand and it covers up this part of your hand and these two fingers and it keeps you from smearing your pencils so that your body heat is not warming up the pencil that's under your hand and smearing it. So I need to try that. I just didn't want to use it on camera. So, yep, I'm hoping to finish my villain son picture tonight while watching TV. I should be able to, I'm just doing the sky. And tomorrow I need to update 
the color lawns on my blog. Well, not just on my blog, I need to update my list as well for the color and news because now it's the beginning of the month. So I need to see what the color alarms are on Facebook. The only one I have is for this week's picture on the Hannah Lynn group. So, and you know me, I'll do that. So, that is my goal on Friday nights when I watch Nick and Tina and Faithfulness. And hoping to catch Dev. I think he's on before Nick and Tina. So, Fridays when I'm watching and listening to them. I will be coloring the Hannah Lynn picture for the week. So that's what I did last Friday and I finished quite a bit of it. Did I? Yeah, I didn't get to Dev's stream last Friday because we were out for dinner. And I caught some of Nick and Tina, and then I watched Faithfulness. So. This weekend is also the Readathon weekend in the Shadow Lounge monthly readathon on Facebook. It's always the second weekend of the month. And you start at 6 p.m. Friday night till 6 p.m. Sunday night, but they aren't really picky. You can start early and finish later, whatever. So what I am going to do is read during the day so that I don't have to worry about reading at night while watching live streams. So, yep. That's what I'm doing. And I know that Robin and Elizabeth do whoops. They do the readathon as well. Okay, where was it? I went out of the lines right there. And while I'm watching Riverdale, I will read my book during commercials. And Miss Pearl is in here, but she is sleeping. 
Molly is sleeping. All the cats are sound asleep. Trying to figure out how I want to do the background. I'm, I might do the background like a navy color and then do the spider web in a silver glitter, like stickles or something like that. Okay, now there's a lot of you that uses the stickles. And I know Jen from Reading with Pugs uses it a lot. How do you continue working with them without it hurting your hand? Because I'm squeezing the bottle and my hands start cramping up. And I've been noticing that more coloring with my pencils now too. That... It doesn't matter how I hold my pencil, how light I color, as I've been trying all different ways. But if I color for long periods of time now, my hands cramp up. Or my hand, I should say. Like right now, it's okay. I colored this morning and then took a break for a few hours. So I guess that's the trick, is to take a break. But I'm wondering about the stickles. Sitting there squeezing the bottle, getting the stickles out, really hurts the hand. And I don't normally have hand issues like some of you do. Okay, so let's move on to this flower. Okay. still want to do a Jasmine Beckett Griffith picture for Sammy's color along this month. And I thought maybe when I do that, that I might watch. Is it? Dream in Color, Sky from Dream in Color, because she does a lot of coloring in, well, I, I think she's done a lot of Jasmine's. I know she does a lot of Hannah Lynn. And I like to watch the videos of color lawns and use their color palettes because that's just, you know, I'm used to doing that when I cross stitch, is using the colors that is called for on a picture. So I kind of like, I like doing my own color palettes, don't get me wrong, but I also like seeing how others color and use co their color palettes. So I 
The sky does beautiful work. I like watching Sammy. I have a lot of hers saved to watch for color palette ideas. Of course, I watch Chris Ching and Julie's passion for coloring. But I don't know if they really do any Jasmine Beckett Griffiths. I'd have to look. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to use is, I don't know if I have a dark blue and a pan pastel. I'll have to look. Because I had, I was given a few pan pastels two years ago. And then I now have the landscape set. Up to see what I have for a, a navy blue. I do have a navy blue. Um, acrylic paint. So the next book I am reading is a ebook that I got from the author Judith Keim. And I'm doing it as a I don't know if it's a blog tour. I think so cuz I I have a date to finish it that I have to finish it. So that is what is next, and it's called Going Home. So that is what I will be reading next. And I did read one of her other books like two months ago for a review and I really liked it. So I'm excited to start that one. If you're reading anything, what are you reading? And 
What are you coloring right now? Are you doing any color lawns? I don't even remember how Lisa did this picture. I'm pretty positive Lisa finished this. She probably finished all of our color, all of our buddy colors. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. So, my question is, do you want me to continue working on this on Wednesdays until it's done? Or just pull out another whip? it doesn't matter either way to me because I do have some whips that I'm not working on on camera because they were color lawns that I was watching with other videos so I only color on them when I'm watching the videos like I did too with Color of Rue in Romantic Country 3 that I need to finish so I have to watch her videos Hmm, that's good. How we doing on time? 42 minutes. I, I think we'll stop for today. We got those three flowers done. And I am happy with that. So... Stay tuned for a new episode of what is going on in my neck of the woods. And let's zoom out and see the whole page. And there we go, my peepers. I will talk to y'all later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.